friends welcome to biology made easy today we'll discuss the last part of this evolution chapter that is human evolution so all the members of the human beings they belong to the species homo sapiens which means man who is wise but how the origin and evolution of human beings have taken place T. A. Huxley has written it in his book *Man's Place in Nature*. In this book, he has written *Man's Place in Nature*. Side by side, Charles Darwin also has written in his book *The Descent of Man*. But uh, where from this man has been originated? The fossil records show that the Central Asia, China. then indonesia india these are the areas where the human beings have been originated and evolved and the fossil records show that the dryopithecus is the first fossil record which shows that human being has started its origin from that now in the human evolution we have to remember a lot of things but in a very scientific manner that is why i have prepared a chart that is i have written in this uh, white board where the genus and how many years back that genus has been evolved then in which epoch it has been originated and where the fossils are found then what is the brain or cranial capacity then what they used to eat and what are the characters i have written it in a systematic manner and once you go through this entire table that is sufficient you not needn't read any other book but because whatever will be the type of question you will be able to answer if you go through this table that is sufficient so let us start how it has the origin and evolution of human being has started now see in the genus i have written the up to serial number 7 the first two they are the uh, before f or uh, that we say before the evolution of f and this is f man or you can call that is the uh, human and the ancestors of humans and these two they are the true human beings so the first one the first one is known as a dryopithecus pithecus means it is a, that is a, the ape like pithecus that is meaning so the first is the and these are the earliest fossil apes written here earliest fossil apes now from this dryopithecus in one side the human being has been evolved while to the other side the apes have been evolved so in our mark is there and the evol evolution of this dryopithecus has taken place 15 million years ago 15 my day million years ago and the fossil record that is found in the miocene epoch and particularly in uh, ethiopia and tanzania both of them belong to africa so just you have to remember these things and what is the brain power what is the cranial capacity it is uh, not estimated what is the cranial ca capacity for us it was very small in size and uh, what type of food materials they were taking so they were almost taking the soft fruits and the leaves of the plants now what are the characters of this uh, dryopithecus now usually they are more ape like and less human like then the body was hairy and uh, they are the common ancestor of uh, man and ape that means see, they are the ancestor of both man and ape because so both man and uh, ape have they have evolved from this then <clears throat> they are, they were a knuckle worker knuckleacre means they are working like this that means uh, pressing these uh, palms they are working that means uh, the 
entire body weight was given like this. They are working like this. That is knuckle worker. And arms and legs of same length. That means say our hands and legs they are of different lengths, but their arms and legs were of equal length. So these are the characters of the Dryopithecus. Now from the Dryopithecus, the next in the stage of evolution is Ramapithecus. Then in Ramapithecus, the Ram, this is the, uh, the hero of Indian legend Namayan. That is our Raman, the god Ram. And according to him, it is known as Ram. And Pithecus, Pithecus means ape like. So that is Rama Pithecus. And this is the first hominid fossil. That is important. And this hominid fossils record it so that uh, they were evolved between 14 to 15 million years back. And the fossil records were obtained in Miocene epoch to Pliocene epoch. First Miocene and then the latter stage is Pliocene. And where these fossils were found? They are found in the Sivalik hills of India. That is also again important for example point of Sivalik hills of India. Coming to its brain capacity, again it is not identified, perhaps it was very small in size. And <coughs> what does their diet? Usually they are taking hard nuts and seeds and coming to characters, they were more man-like. You see, the Dryopithecus, they were more ape-like, but here they are uh, Ramapithecus, they are more man-like and body was hairy and they walked like a gorilla and chimpanzees. That means slight advancement from the uh, Dryopithecus. And uh, <clears throat> they are uh, four feet tall. They are small canine and large molars. That means there are teeth. The canine was small and the molars were large. Then come to the third one. Now between, uh, this is the pre-ep stage. Now come to the ape man or the prehistoric human beings. These are the three stages. And between Ramapithecus and uh, Australopithecus Africanus, there is a long gap of 9 to 10 million years. 9 to 10 million years. That means during this uh, 9 to 10 million years, how the evolution has taken place, there is no fossil record. That is why I have given it in the dotted line. That means a long gap is there. And <clears throat> here you see, the Ramapithecus, the fossil record was found in between 14 to 15 million years back, but here 2.5 million years back. That means there is a gap of around 10 to 9 to 10 million years. And <coughs> they were observed in the Pliocene epoch, and they are also found in the Tuank in East Africa. And this, this is known as Tuang child. Why it is known as Tuang child? Because the fossil which was found that uh, was only five to six years old. That is why that is known as Tuang child and it was found in the place Tuang in East Africa. And <clears throat> what was the cranial capacity? 500 cc. That is very small in size and this is known as ape brain. And they were uh, taking fruits as their food, coming to the characters. Now they have erect posture. That means now they, they could stand erect, straight, erect posture, bipedal locomotion. That means previously there was uh, knuckle movement, but here now the bipedal. That means they started working in, through their legs. So bipedal locomotion, then small canine, and no chin. Chin was not there. Then they were uh, cave dwellers. They were uh, residing inside the caves and they hunted animals using stone tools. They were preparing different tools from the stones and they are hunting the animals. So these are the characters of this uh, Australopithecus, which are also known as African ape man. 
Then the next stage is uh, Homo habilis, and they are known as the tool makers. This is an important for example point of view. And they, the, their fossils are found two million years ago, in which the uh, epoch, now this is found in Pleistocene. Pleistocene. Uh, the fossils are found in East Africa. And now the cranial capacity of the brain is slightly bigger than this. Here it is 652 to 850. And probably they were not taking meat. And coming to the characters, they are the fast human like. That means from the ape, now they started looking like human beings. And they are known as skillful men. They have a lot of skills. So they are known as skillful men. They are also known as tool makers because they are preparing different types of uh, tools from the stones. They are also known as handyman. These are very important. Handyman, tool maker, skillful man, and they are also known as nut cracker man because they are eating nuts and probably they are not taking meat. So these are the characters of the Homo habilis. Now from the Homo habilis. The, in the next uh, stage of evolution is Homo erectus, which is known as erect man, because these are also important for examination point of view. And uh, the fossil records is found to uh, 1.5 million years ago in the epoch Pleistocene. And the brain cranial capacity of the brain slightly increased, 900 cc, and mostly they are taking meat. Coming to the characters, they are more they are more human like. They are more human like, and they are five to six feet tall. That means like us, five to six feet tall. They have uh, small canine and larger molars. That means uh, more human characters. Then the projecting jaws. The jaws were, were projecting outside. Then elaborated tools of stones. They are preparing different types of uh, tools from the stones. Then they are good hunters. They know the use of a fire. That is again important. They know the use of a fire and culturally they are more evolved. That is from their ancestors. Now culturally they are more evolved and uh, they knew the use of a fire because uh, they are hunting the animals. Now from this uh, Homo erectus, three types of fossils have been found. One is Java Atman, found in Java, Indonesia. The second type is Peking Man, found in China. Peking is near Beijing. And uh, later on the Peking is converted to Beijing. So this Peking man that is also in near Beijing in China and the third one is the Hederberg man. This is found in Germany. That means the three types of fossils are found in three different parts of the world and all these fossils they belong to this Homo erectus. Now from this Homo, Homo after this Homo erectus again we found there is a gap of around 50 years. Now during this gap period the evolution has taken place in a two ways. In one way, it has given rise to Homo sapiens Neanderthalensis, but are known as uh, Neanderthal man, which has further never taken part in the evolution of human beings because they have become completely extinct. Whereas from this Homo erectus, the other one, Homo sapiens fossilis, they have been evolved. They have, take, they have taken part in the evolution of human beings. So let us discuss first this one. This is the first to Homo sapiens neanderthalensis, known as neanderthal man. This is an important uh, neanderthal man, important for again some point of view. And the fossil record show between uh, 1 lakh to 40,000 years in the Pleistocene epoch, and these were found in Neander Valley, Neander Valley, 
नियंडर हल्ली ऑफ जर्मनी एज वेल एज इन ईस्ट एंड सेंट्रल एशिया सो द फॉसिल्स आर फाउंड इन ऑफ द प्लेस्टोसिन एंड इन द नियंडर वैली ऑफ जर्मनी एंड ईस्ट एंड सेंट्रल एशिया एंड नाउ द ब्रेन द क्रैनियल कैपेसिटी ऑफ ब्रेन पावर हैज इंक्रीज्ड टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंट इंस्टेड ऑफ 900 सीसी इट इज 1400 सीसी and they are omnivorous as well as they are carnivorous coming to the characters their face was uh, prognathous prognathous means say, projecting forward that means their face was projecting forward so that is prognathous face they were uh, cave dwellers they used animal hides as clothes that means for the first time the ancestors used to clothes and what type of clothes the animal hides that means say animal skins they were using as clothes then buried the dead this is again very important thing so whoever was dying they buried the dead dead body that is again important so the two things are important they hides they hide the Uh, used the animal hides as clothes. That is important for exemption point of view. They buried the dead. This is also important, and they were uh, religious because according to them, the soul is immortal. That means they are the first religious uh, human being ancestors. That is again important, and they were of short stature. The eyebrows were quite heavy. and uh, the jaws were very large but the problem is that they became extinct uh, around 30000 years ago that means say, from the homo erectus they have been evolved but they have completely extinct none of this them are living they are completely fossils and uh, they are not uh, and now a part of the evolution of human beings now after this homo erectus the next is homo sapiens fossilis who is also known as uh, cro-magnon man or fossil modern man the cro-magnon man this is also important from exemption point of view and the fossil record is found 30000 years back in the holocene epoch the holocene is the recent epoch that is continuing that means it's quite almost modern because both are holocene they are very recent so in the holocene epoch that is very recent it is found and uh, they were found in the cro-magnon rocks of france and you see the cranial capacity of the brain 16 1656 that means at present the human the cranial capacity of the human being is uh, ranges from 1300 to 1600 or you take the average 1450 That means the cranial capacity of this uh, Homo sapiens fossils is was more than that of the present day human beings. That is why they are thought to be more intelligent than the present day human beings. And they are also omnivorous. Coming to the characters, they have a uh, orthognathic space. That means this is opposite to this uh, prognathic space. In prognathous, the face was forwarding, but in uh, orthognathous face, the the face is not projecting. That means it is, it is straight, and they are very tall, around six feet, and uh, they have wisdom teeth, just like us. Again, this is important. They were cave dwellers. They were cave dwellers, and they were found cave paintings and carvings. This is very very important for exemption point of view. The cave paintings and carvings were found, particularly was found in Bimekta Rock, Bimekta Rock Shelter of Raisin District of Madhya Pradesh. This is very important for exemption point of view. That means the cave paintings and carvings, and is found in Bimekta Rock Shelter of Raisin District of Madhya Pradesh. that is very important for exemption point of view then they use animal skin as clothes just like the ancestors so they use animal skin as clothes 
then they use the spears bows and arrows as tools that means they are preparing different types of tools from the stones and these tools were like spears bows and arrows they were using as tools and uh, they are the direct ancestor of a modern man so the our immediate ancestor of uh, the modern man were this uh, crow modern man or fossil modern man then from this uh, homo sapiens fossilis or uh, crow modern man the next one is homo sapiens sapiens that is the living modern man that means ourselves and the evolution has taken place the fossil record shows that the present day human being have been evolved between 75000 to 10000 years which is known as ice age and uh, uh, the fossil records found in holocene which is very recent and as i already have told you that the cranial capacity of the brain is 1300 to 1600 cc average is 1450 cc that means the, the cranial capacity is less than the, our ancestors and again we are omnivorous and the characters are more culture than anatomy that means say in all these cases we have found that there is a morphological and anatomical deviations are there but when the cromagnon man evolved to this living modern man there is no anatomical morphological difference there is more cultural difference that is again important and uh, the raising skull cap this skull cap slightly raised and the and the thinning of skull bone the skull bones are thin and it is slightly raised then backbone with four curves in the backbone there are four curves that is again very important for again some point abu and the present human beings are very intelligent and, uh, and they came to know about cultivation around 10000 years ago and uh, they appeared in in around mediterranean sea that means the present uh, human being appeared around the mediterranean sea and they moved to different parts of the world those which moved towards westward that means the white people like the europeans they moved to eastward from the mediterranean sea area and they are known as Caucasus right? those which move towards the east like uh, asia they are known as mongoloid and those which move south towards they are known as negroid so how the evolution of this human being has taken place uh, uh, from the prehistoric times from dryopithecus to the modern living living modern man or all, all the details i have given here in this table if you go through this table and you can remember important characters then there is nothing more to read from the books particularly in this human evolution so you can take a snap of this uh, uh, entire boat so that uh, it will very much helpful for you and you can try it to magnify and uh, see the whole things because the letters are very small so just to magnify and see it so thank you for very much for watching the video and uh, this is the last part of the evolution then we'll start uh, some other chapter thank you very much we wish you a very bright career god bless you